everyone this is Penny at Pod Popper's Place and I just wanted to share with you the camper die cut from Honey Bee Stamps and I've cut out all the pieces here to show you what they look like when they're cut out um, I have cut two of the window because I'm not sure if I want this little bit of cream color or this like off-white um, inside the window because I have these white um, floral panels that I'm going to use to decorate the camper and sometimes it's very hard to see um, the window with the white um, background next to it. So here is the trim around the window. This is, you cut two of these if you want to use the die cut as a card by itself and not attach it to an A2 card. So you, I cut two of these and you fold them on the score line and then we'll use those as a hinge for the camper to be a card by itself. And then here is the tires pieces and the um, little hook piece for the camper and then the door and the door trim and I've cut it in two different papers because I'm not sure which color I want to use and then this is the cutest thing the little awning that you can put over the window and it has little score marks on it so that you can um, fold it a little bit easier but I've cut two pieces because this is double-sided decorative tape paper and I don't want this bottom part to show so I'm going to use this um, as a liner so that you can't see that um, other color underneath and I use the floral to decorate it on the side here, but I'm going to also use um, another floral strip here at the top because I want to do a top and a bottom floral strip. So in order to do that, I'm just going to line this up on the at the top of the camper and use some purple tape to hold it in place. And my cat is wanting to get in on the, the crafting here. And so I'm going to die cut that. Now, I have a love-hate relationship with the purple tape. I love it because it holds things in place and it has a low tack. But um, sometimes it can be more tacky than you want. So this is one that I um, tried to cut earlier. I'm going to use um, this to put a gift card inside. Um, so I had used it earlier and the purple tape stuck and tore it. So now I can't use this. So that was frustrating. And then there isn't a little circle to go inside of the tire, but I like the little kind of hubcap look. So I'm going to use my quarter inch um, punch to just um, punch out a circle to put inside the tire so that it looks like there's a little hubcap. Um, and then these are the little curtains. It's just so cute, little curtains to go in the window. So now that I have my top piece cut, I'm going to put everything together. So I've done it a couple different ways where I've started with this piece here and lined it up and then glued this on top of it. and sometimes it works great and sometimes it doesn't. It just is so tricky to get them lined up perfectly. So I think today I'm going to start with this bottom piece and then go add this piece on top of it. Um, so and see how that goes. So I'm going to go ahead and glue all this together. I've added some detail to the tire and to the hubcap and this is the little tiny door handle that came out of the door and I've done it a couple different ways where I just colored in the door handle hole, I put the door handle in there and then colored that on top of it. Um, I've cut a couple pieces and then added the door handle so it's raised up a little bit. Um, if you have this set and you've tried it different ways, let me know what you think and what you like. Um, I, it just depends on what I'm feeling is how I decide to, to put it together. So, but I'm going to go ahead and glue these together and then I will be right back. So I've gotten my three pieces glued together and as you can see, maybe I'm a little picky, but this didn't quite line up exactly how I like it to. So um, probably using a different kind of glue would be better. This one sticks pretty quickly and um, then you can't get it up and move it around very much. 
um, and the edges are showing a little bit on the other side. I hate that, and I'm very picky about that, but um, it's not a huge deal, but um, I would like to mess with that a little bit more and have it fit better. But So now I'm going to um, put the awning on the window. So before um, I do anything, I'm going to fold it on the score lines, and they are really hard to see because they are very tiny and they're not super deep, but there are score lines there to at least help you fold it down a little bit so that you can get it attached to the window properly. And I'm going to fold and score these separately so that um, they're ready to be glued together. I'm using a really old bone folder from Stampin' Up. It's very old and maybe there's some better options out there, but I work with what I've got sometimes. And So there's a score on the back to attach it and then there's a score on the front to bring the little shade decorative piece down. I wish the score line was just a little bit deeper so that it was a little easier to fold. Um, I feel like my paper is kind of coming apart here. But it isn't the best score line, but it is there. Probably it might be even better if I, because I'm gluing that underneath, probably would have been good if I would have maybe trimmed and re-scored it a little bit so it folds under there nicely. But I'm not too worried about it showing because it matches, the colors all match. So I'm going to glue this together and then um, I'm going to attach it to the window sill. Um, the window trim here before I attach it to the camper. Um, I, have, I have done it both ways where I forgot to put the awning on and so then I went in and put it on after the window was already attached and it was fine. There's nothing really wrong with it but I feel like it sits on there better if the um, awning is attached to the window itself. Glue this together. And then I'm going to use um, double stick tape. It's very narrow to attach the awning to the windowsill. So just on this little back edge here that got folded down, I'm going to stick this really skinny tear tape on there. I know everybody has different names for this stuff. I call it tear tape. I don't know what else to call it. And then I'm going to attach it to the back of the, the windowsill. It does hang over a little bit. As you can see, it does hang over a little bit, but you're not really going to notice that when the window's on there. So I'm going to go ahead and keep putting this together. Um, I think I'm going to use the little bit light cream versus the whiter just so it stands out from the rest of the background a little bit more. But before I put the window in there I'm going to put the curtains on. I almost forgot that step. Make sure you put the curtains on before you attached the, the glass of the window in the frame. Otherwise your curtains will be on the outside of the camper. And those, that's not very handy. 
would be super cute if there was like a little bow to go on this or something, but I haven't quite figured out if there's a, a way to do that. So there's the little curtains on there. And then I'm going to attach it to the windowsill. See our little curtains through there. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue this on to our camper and move on to the door. So y'all, I have a confession to make. I obviously, you can tell I'm a new YouTuber and I pushed my buttons to record when I was not talking and then stopped my recording when I was talking so I'm a couple of steps ahead of where I was before so anyway I put my door on I decided to go with a green door frame instead of the floral one and I used both of my little window pieces here just to give a little extra lift and I just dropped some glue in here and then put the little tiny cutout from the door piece in there so that the door knob stands out a little bit better and it's all ready to be attached to the back piece. So I've used a die cut that is for gift card slots from a paper tray ink apple die cut. It came with this and I've attached, um, I've cut that in and I did do it kind of to the side a little bit so that the gift card can be over here and I still have some room to either write a stamp a sentiment or hand write a, a note in there um, to the recipient. And then I've attached the two little pieces that were cut from this piece here that you fold over on the score lines and I've attached them with some tear tape so that it gets a nice strong hold at the top there. And so we're just going to put our card um, together. So I need to line these up because with, you know, with tear tape, you only kind of get one shot at it. So I think I'll line them up from the bottom and then go up from there. Tuck those down push. Use my ancient bold folder here to really press that down. Get a nice strong connection. And then here is the most adorable card. It doesn't fold super open because it is, you know, attached there at the top of the card. Um, but it gives you a nice, um, super cute card to give somebody with a gift card inside and obviously you could do it without the gift card and just have a really cute card as well. So I am going to use my glaze pen here. I just got this recently and it's kind of fun to add a little bit of shimmer and sparkle to um, things. It does come out really well and I like to just add a little bit of shine to things and you can see it's pretty wet looking, so you have to give it some time to dry. And then I like to go on here to give it some, you know, shining out the window effect. And you can't always see it sometimes when it's, you have to kind of see it in the light to be able to get it. Um, another pen that would be good here is like a very, 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 very light gray to kind of give it that same look um, and I've used that as well on windows before too but I really like this honeybee die cut I think it's super adorable it's so versatile you could add so many different um, colors you could do it without the awning you could make it very manly and use maybe some hunting um, printed paper and put like a Cabela's gift card in there for a guy in your life. Um, there's just lots of options and you know you don't have to be a camper to really think it's super cute and and use it as a as a gift or a thank you for someone in your life. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.